It's everything in Warcraft. <laughs> it's this map indeed. <laughs> yeah, you need to. Re apparently, you need to remember the name to remember the layout. Apparently, yes. Yeah, but I, I, I'm just skipping the name and remember the layout. <laughs> yeah, it works as well, I mean, I guess, I suppose. Good luck, have fun, guys! I miss having the voice of Nico in the voice chat, to be honest. Him complaining okay, and, and raging and, and trash talking in the voice chat is always a pleasure. <laughs> and saying stuff about <laughs> theory. <laughs> Next time, alright. Good to know. Uh, did I not show the teams? I didn't. Okay, my bad. Uh, it's gonna be Seuss and Nico versus. Uh, no. Seuss and Slowmage. Uh, Slowmage and Nico versus Glider and Seuss. There you go. Best teams. Nico needs U8. He had U8 last. Uh, I mean, uh, audio. Today, I think, that when U8 was around. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Forgot. Yeah, he was there. Okay. It was a bad game. <laughs> oh no. Doesn't he always, though? Almost, the devil, devil is in the details. Alright, I'm muting myself, good luck, have fun guys. We're gonna be watching the game, and we have a 2v2 featuring Mr. Glider in purple playing the Twilight Hammer Clan. He's starting right here on the right side. We have as his partner, Mr. Seuss, right below him, in blue at the bottom side. Uh, and we do have uh, the, the slow mage here in green playing Kultioas on the left side. And last but not least, we have Nico in orange playing the Burning Blade Orcs and starting at the top side. And when your ally is like this, right next to you, I love, uh, I love on this map to secure, to actually build my stuff uh, in the way, like over here, for example, and secure the whole side, because uh, ultimately you can still rush, be simply like this. Why are we? Do we have archers here from Slow Mage? I think he wanted the archers to stop repairs potentially. But two of the footmen, uh, two of the grunts of Zeus were trapped, so they lost the fight. Even though, if the two foot, if the two grunts of Zeus were there, that fight would have been won. How much life do we have? Oh yeah, we are very much in the red. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Slow mage is eternal game man. Because <laughs> he made archers the whole day. Wow, that was kind of scary. You saw this? Like, I didn't know how to balance the games because of it. It was a bit of a mess. But it was funny in the end. Like, it was still funny. You wait, lost one game and, and won two other. Like, lost two games and, and win one, or I don't remember exactly. But he wasn't too happy. It is what it is. Just balance the games. Right, we have an attack here from Slow Mage with the Archer, trying to, um... and uh, he he tried to go for the Archer there. That farm will go down because uh, no repairs when there is an Archer around. He needs to to reinforce. Yeah, he's going to reinforce right there. Needs to attack the peons. He's not attacking the peons though. Wow. 
He's not attacking the grunts either. That almost worked. If he, if he had actually started attacking the peons earlier, he would have been able to get through this. Because that farm was in the red when he when he forgot. That was a pretty nice push, but didn't work, unfortunately for him. He just forgot to attack. It is very nice to see slow mage back, yeah, I agree. It's always nice to see people coming back. Like Mish in the chat earlier today as well, uh, and all these folks that, that come back from time to time. Pretty sure Scarce is going to be around this weekend as well sometime. Maybe it's tomorrow. Not sure when. Especially like, to, for Slow Mage we play very very late, like this is early morning. So he must have wake, uh, he must basically just wake up from his... Uh, from his bed at uh, 8 a.m. and just start playing with us. That's pretty much what it is. A European time there, right there. Lots of pressure on Zeus. He's gonna replace that dying footman. He has the archers there to stop the repairs. Okay, there, here, there they come. There's a cannon tower too. That's gonna pull, right? There you go. In the cannon tower, face. They need to go in the cannon tower. Face, there you go. Hug the cannon tower. GG! Susie's dead. <laughs> this is why you bring a few archers. The archers actually did the difference here. They broke the, the peons repairing the racks, which was very, very low on life. And that, that, that worked. It's going for the peons here very nicely. The archers try to, to leave. And Sus just uh, losing all his peons trying to repair that quad tower. Even though sometimes he makes me want to throw my keyboard for catapults <laughs> offline. Yeah, when he does stupid stuff, it's, it's what it is. But I guess you have me around as well, so I, if I see him doing that kind of stuff, usually I just adapt and I do the same. Like the game when he went uh, flyers only on friends, I just I did it too and we started contest, uh, a contest to, to know who was making the most flyers. I remember that. I, I filled the whole map. the whole edge of the map that was kind of stupid <laughs> yeah I did the same over <laughs> over day base too oh no what no it was my flyers I think no, I, I moved my flyers over your racks so that you can produce select them to produce. <laughs> it was his? No way. I would have to look at the VOD. Both of you had them there? Oh wow. That's messed up. <laughs> How do you select stuff in that case? Zeus is trying to re-wall. He had enough money, obviously. And wood, I'm surprised he had the wood. He chopped a bunch, but not that much. There's so many archers. Oh wow, Glider is coming though. Glider is gonna be uh, very angry with his ogres there. The archers are gonna run around. The peon repairing the, the tower here was actually quite good. That was a pretty good defense. Ouch, Glider lost a lot. 
Awogus too. He did buy a little bit of time to Zeus. That's what drove me crazy. <laughs> pretty fun, yeah, pretty fun play. I don't think he needs that many archers, but they do burst the buildings faster than than uh, than footmen because piercing damage, pretty much. I mean, it's still gonna be quite a hard game because of Nico versus Glider. Glider just wins here. Yeah. Nico's gonna be faster to last, but the glider has more ogres. He has decent peons in his expansion. Nico has not started moving his peons yet. The last could be the lifesaver for for Nico. If he gets a very good fight. We need to get Oh yeah, he needs that. He needs a glider to move away away. Because there are not so many ogres, but they are lost. I think he wins the fight because glider moves away. Yeah, if Glider have, had not moved away, look at the amount of HP on these ogres. Yeah, if Glider has stayed in place and not moved away, he would have been okay. These ogres are all in the red. <laughs> wow. Glider made the mistake of moving away. <laughs> had he just fought it with his ogres, uh, he would have been able to defend this. And then he had a pre pretty good macro. Wow.